Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Logan, Ohio at the Logan Antique Mall. He's still with us. We're gonna get inside, see what we can't find. He's in the shadows. No, you're not in the shadows. Now you're not in the shadows. We're gonna get in here, see if we can find anything. Neither of us have ever been here before, so let's get inside and see what we can do. Here we go. Exterior shot here at the Logan Antique Mall. We'll see. She looks kind of long. I don't know how wide or deep she is. We do have some kind of yard sale-y stuff out here. What is this? Perry Como Bing. Oh, so classics, true value hardware. So I think stuff that they're just like, get rid of it. But you never know what somebody might have. Richard's going for the clear. He found some Bristol and kind of like an oyster glass. Oh, not bad. Or clam broth, not oyster. Here, you know. That's not yeah. bad at four <laughs> bucks. That one's not horrible. She's older. Yeah. I'm gonna hold off on that though. Mr. Cantaloupe is over here. <laughs> um, yeah. It's kind of junky. Oh, look at the little cube or the pool balls. Are those rubber? It looks like it. Oh, they are. No price. Oh, there's some Lincoln logs. Oh, Richard found a trunk. But that's not an exceptional trunk. That's just an okay trunk. Yeah. All right, let's emergency. Let's peek in here. Okay. Well, let's. Oh, there's more yard sale stuff. Let's see if there's any yard sale stuff. Then we'll get inside. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely just. The yards have, oh, Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four. Kind of digging that. $10. Nondescript back. Is it going to be super, oh. Villain cards. Oh, carefully push out 12 discs for use in the game. No, oh, I guess they're right here. Looks like it's never been used. I know. Well, I think they might have sealed this because they pushed, oh. yeah, see. And then they sealed everything in there. Hmm. That's kind of cool. 77, great, great vintage graphic. No, there's no on there. 10 bucks. Okay. See if that, there's anything on that. Oh, gosh. Heck, yeah. Is there any... A dollar. 1983. What? Our game's not really worth a whole lot, so we're gonna leave that one there. Let's see if the Crystar book is. We're gonna get it. It's the nostalgia of it that's speaking my name. So we found something outside. Well behaved dogs. Richard. <laughs> I'll wait outside. Behave. Oh, here we have a sassy sleeping squeak. She's $5. Actually, not that bad given the condition. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. You have one of these. This is the one you have. You got that from Misty, didn't I think you? It's a flatter version of it. Yeah, $8.95. Yeah. That's not bad. It's in good shape. I don't know if I need to. Okay, we don't need to, he says. I like the ring. I can see that. <laughs> Oh, some of the old Pulp Fiction here. She was a virtuous girl. Well, I don't think you were, lady. I don't know. These are... Three dollars. Okay. Tawny. Ground. Oh, my goodness. What's going on back in the day? I don't know. 
20% off. Some beautiful amethyst. Oh, I like this one. This one's 35 with 20% off. Hmm. I might consider that one. That Aurora Borealis. Lovely. You're really digging the Bristol glass, huh? Well, it's popping up. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Mm. Mm-hmm. I know the paint was better. No. Alright. Let's see. Whoa, look at that giant Roseville urn up there. How much is it? That's huge. Four fifty. Look at huge. Over here the boys union tool set with I love stuff like this. Look at that little wooden mount or oh my gosh. That adorable. Look, the ruler's even in it. The key. Oh, it's the latch. It's 95. I mean, that's not bad given the condition that it seems to be in. Little mallet. There's your wooden mallet. What's this? Is this a planer? No. Nope. Wow, cool. A corn chalkware notepad holder. There's an apple over here. Twenty. Where? Oh, yeah, I see. Interesting piece, that's for darn sure. We got some glass over here, folks. That's pretty. Older Fenton cased. Forty nine. Oh, I love that color. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Golly. We might need to consider that one. This we saw yesterday. See, this one's a little bit better, though, because, again, you don't see the opalescent kind of bleeding into the center here. Got some Burmese back there and the jack in the pulpit. How much is that? 59. That's not... In comparison to a lot of the pieces. Oh, look at this one up here. That one's 160. Rare Fenton Cranberry. Little anniversary basket, 129. I'm assuming this is not. That's original. a Westmoreland Agronaut. No, it looks like they pieced them two together. Funny. Interesting. <laughs> no, we have a little milk glass down here. Oh, there's the crest on it. That one's 75. That's not bad. So that's the blue one. 37. Mm -hmm. Hmm. She's cute. 35. 35. Oh, we have some fairy lamps over here. Let's see what we got. That one is 65. The custards, or the Burmese, part of me, I'm not overly sold on those. Ooh, this one's 125, my goodness. This one, I can't see the price. <sighs> He's got a question. You know what? No, I've had one of these before. I've seen a couple of people sell them. Nobody's really sure. Maybe a candle holder. 45. They did a couple of different colors on that piece. Um, yeah. They're a little... Oh, wow. I have never... They have 245 on this one here. Huh. Little tip tray down here. That's cute. Some little toy soldiers there. They have some good stuff in here. That's a nice coffee grinder. $200. What, how much do they have on their Roseville? 50. 70. That's, 70. I like that one. 70 or 170? 70. That's $70? The clematis. Is it chipped? Mm. 
I love it, but yeah, I haven't done that well with the Roseville, to be honest with you. I love. I, I don't um, love this color. You don't love that color? Um, no, I like it. Oh, but you know that you have I some like of these. Okay. Yeah, I think that's much prettier. You know you have a piece of that, right? No. You do. <laughs> Now here guys, you're seeing that Richard has found some smaller pieces of Weller. We've got some great little bud vases here, really digging them. Prices are not that bad, $49.99. Unfortunately, this one does have a chip. The other one was priced a little bit higher. Still nice to see. Interesting little art vase here, only $4.99. It looks like it could be a Chinese or a modern piece. Kind of want to peek in here to the cabinet, see if they've got anything going on. Uh, don't really see a whole lot, but then something did catch my eye and it's this beautiful peacock colored glass with that silver overlay. Not a very common color to see with the silver overlay. So pleasantly surprised to see that I was angling to get in there on that price. Turns out it was $49.99. So I did leave that one behind. Got a clear compote here, the Ellie Smith, the moon and stars, pretty little piece of amethyst carnival glass. Really thought that was kind of pretty. $6.99. It feels like it's more of a contemporary piece, so not that there's anything wrong with that. Richard's going for that blue opalescence, too. We teach him well here at the cult. Yes, we do. Hmm. Definitely digging the mirror here. Richard does think it's more of a contemporary piece, though. A lot of reproductions were done in the Art Nouveau style, uh, kind of in that plaster, the wooden plaster, but we're looking for the real deal here. Lots of canisters to see. We've got some milk glass, some ceramics, a little bit of a hodgepodge of everything. Then I did spot this piece up here. Let me move this stuff. Uh, Look at that. Different. Cameo glass. It's yeah, pretty. That's a nice piece. I mean, I like the colors. Aren't that beautiful though? Weller. Baldwin Apple. Oh, that's 120. Damn it. I'm probably gonna have to do a oh no, I I no <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, thought there was something oh this little moon and stars here. That Amberina. That one's cute. I wonder how much it is. $19.99. I'm wondering if that's not uh, Kanawa glass. <clears throat> Moving right along, Richard spotted a great piece of Weller pottery here. Unfortunately, it was priced above our reseller budget. Uh, and then down here, I was getting confused. <laughs> Definitely want to check it out. We got another piece of Roseville here. I love the blue with the snowberries. Not Richard's favorite combination, but again, it's just not priced where we need it to be. A little bit of excess ceramic there, pottery on the bottom. Still a pretty piece. We've got the ugly-faced jars here. Richard was telling me that these were made to kind of scare the kids away from drinking the liquor. Um, it's interesting, to say the very least. A little bit of hodgepodge of everything here. Mm, some amazing rings again. These interesting little guys, I, I don't know... What's going on? Some art glass. And then these guys, I don't know what. Look at those monkeys or clowns in the back. They're kind of creepy. 140 for that set. Talking about creepy. Look at raw. <laughs> oh, we've got some ceramic bottle stoppers. No discounts. So what is this? This oh, is the miniature barrel. Oh. 75, which isn't a terrible deal for the condition it's in. That is really cute. Great decorator's piece. Are we getting it? I'm tempted. Oh, yeah, no, if you stick around, you just not eat the house, you burn. Finally, I have my first find of the day. We've got this little Victorian era ornament here with that blue bulb in the middle and the, the mercury glass beads wrapped around it. I liked it. It was cute. The price is right. So we're going to add that to the Victorian tree. Here again, we're seeing the German or the putts. 
um, lead deer here, the stags. They're in overall really good condition. The antlers look a little twisted, but it's a very soft lead, uh, quite malleable. So you can go in there and kind of slowly and gently put them into a shape in which you think is more appealing. Uh, lots of glassware, but just not really the kind of glassware that we're looking for. Interesting little deer here, very mid-century, that cream and gold glaze. Uh, it's not really screaming my name, though, you know what I mean? Perusing, but I don't see a whole lot in here for us. Uh, oh, well, you never know. We're going to move on to a whole bunch of little paper rates. Now, these look to be more contemporary. I'm not seeing a whole lot of control in the artistry. Uh, this caning actually was quite good. It was $20 though, which isn't horrible. Wasn't in love with the colorway. Didn't really see anything else again. That looked to be truly vintage. Moving along, a lot of polystone figurines here. Uh, just not our bag. Yeah. It, it's a really interesting vendor mall. There's contemporary to antiques through here, so we're just going to kind of check everything out. We're seeing the Jesus painting here. Richard had actually found a smaller version of it. Ironically enough, I had just found another one here today. Great little mannequin. Uh, it's a Lulu mannequin. This one is in a vinyl. Typically, they're in a fiberglass, so that was quite interesting. $89. Unfortunately, the pole didn't look to be retractable, so I did leave that one behind. Hmm. Gonna try and see if there's anything else. No, ooh, look at all of those golden books over there. Kinda wanna check those out, see if there's any good vintage ones. I mean, a lot of the golden books are, especially with those gold spines, but you know, I really like the 60s and earlier. These look to be kind of 80s and 90s, so we're gonna leave those ones behind. Next booth, check out this chair, oh my goodness. Look, don't sit. You know, they just don't make anything like that before. $1,500 turtle chair. Oh, there's the turtles. Do you see them there on the arm? And the water's kind of coming up behind them. Really cool. In the land oh, cases right now, Richard's found a barrel. I found a book and an ornament. <laughs> so who knows? You never know. Um, 20% off. This is contemporary jade. I, I, it's, yeah. Moss or glass. Not what we're looking for, though. We're still on the hunt. We're not going to give up. We're going to do this. What do we got over here? More Mosser and contemporary reproduction. Oh, I do like that amber glass deer, though. That's cute. All right, back at it. Oh, look at that. That's huge. 350. Whoa. I'd be tempted to keep that one. So we have this one, but then behind it, I noticed another church one. It says made in Germany. I want to get that out and see if it plays. Let's go ask for key 118. Let's do it. Gosh, this set is absolutely adorable. Do you see this? Look at that. Oh, it's corny. Very uh, 1960s, 70s. That's adorable. I think it's that late. 60s, 70s? Mm. Mm. Okay. No. The utilitarian stuff typically doesn't, again, it's one of those things that doesn't do that well for me. Bless y'all, sir. He's he sneezing. Ah, uh, they're not creepy enough. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> He's so sad. Brand new complete True Blood DVD series for $32. You know what? I'll take it. 
If you've not watched this series yet, you're missing out, though I will warn you, it is um, graphic. <laughs> Speaking of graphic, we've got some creepy dolls coming up here for you. But first, I saw this beautiful uh, pink milk glass. It's a divided three piece serving dish. I absolutely love this one. It's only $29. Now the going rate for it is about 50 to 60. However, as I said earlier in the video, the utilitarian stuff typically doesn't do all that well for me. So while I do like it, I am actually going to go ahead and leave that one behind. Um, I was just in one of those moods where you're kind of not finding anything and you're like, no, I need the extra special stuff. Um, we found some dollies here. She's not creepy enough. I mean, she's a mildly creepy, but, uh, from the fifties, it's a ballerina doll here. I think, oh, nope. John Lander's there. She's cute, but, uh, it's just not the era that we're going for. I like the creepier bisque dolls here. We have a reproduction. It's marked J, uh, not bad for $23. There's a lot of doll artisans out there that actually make molds of antique dolls and kind of uh, make them into contemporary pieces. Now this little lady here, she's got this cute little cameo brooch on her too. She's $34.90, interesting price there. I was trying to creep Richard out with her. He does not like the creepy bisque babies. However, he surprised me by saying that he actually didn't find these, this particular style, to be creepy at all. As a matter of fact, he thought that she looked pretty cool um, I think that she does have the creep effect to her. She is most definitely an antique doll. Um, I love the condition issues on her. I think that it gives her character. She shows her age. Um, she's probably over a hundred years old and I don't know much that gets to be a hundred years old and doesn't show a little bit of their age. You know what I'm saying? Um, we've got some other ones here. These little German dolls with the cloth bodies. Um, this one was really interesting. I had never seen them turn one into a gentleman. I loved the clothing on this one. Unfortunately, as I turn it over, the fabric is melting away. It's just in tatters. Um, that is unfortunate. There's really no way to kind of save that. Then Richard surprised me while I was looking at Creepy Dude with some beautiful, look at that swing on that one. Yes, it is milk glass, but I'm telling you the more dramatic the swing on them, the more likely people are to get them. It's kind of like the middle finger of the swings. I mean, my goodness, look at that thing. It's flipping us all off. I'm offended. I do like the swing on the other one. Um, again, it's quite dramatic. I like that deep cut on it. So you know what? We go ahead and pick up both of those. Now back to our creepy babies. Unfortunately, the gentleman here had a split in his head. So I sadly had to leave him behind. However, this little creepy lady, she's coming home with us. Oh, yes, she is. Now, Richard was quite excited to find these. I thought they were ceramic, but they are, of course, porcelain. Um, $15, Richard said, you know, the handles alone could go for double that. But what he was most excited about is that the locking mechanism was included. So that really sealed the deal for him. So he got that handle and lock set at just $15. He said, you know, with the lock set, probably triple that at now at least. So Richard's doing really good here today. We're on the struggle bus though. <laughs> Alrighty, moving along. Let's see if we can't find anything else. He's such a gentleman. Notice how he he's he's carrying the, the vases. Yeah. This little cutie here. I've seen this print quite a few times, but I absolutely love it. It's adorable. And then we do see this feathered tree that has been wired. Bless it. Uh, it does look like a little bit of a feather fire hazard. I mean, feathers and, and vintage lights, typically not the best combination. <laughs> Got some beautiful blue glass here, some Fenton, the marble glass, the opalescent glass. We've got some head vases up here. Um, I was digging the lady here in the, in the front. However, Richard then saw the bud vases. The man's obsessed with the bud vases. He was like, should we get this set? I said, no. <laughs> But I really wanted to see this lovely lady. Unfortunately, she was priced at, I believe, 65 She does have quite the look. That is right. Her, her jewelry is still present, which was nice to see. But alas, not for our reseller budget. Some pretty things, but just not where we need them to be. It's a great little pull together. I like the colors in the old uh, hot chair. I think that it displays beautifully. So a lot of that mid-century, very kind of kitsch vibe to it going on. I like the tollware candle stick down there. I actually didn't notice that in real life. That's a shame. That was a pretty piece. 
little bit of rose bill in the pastels. Mm. But again, just nothing that we're really looking for. So we're going to move along here to this next booth. And they've got quite the collection of glass. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some standard stuff I was really wanting to check out up here at the top. And the first piece that jumped out at me is this Kanawa. Their Moon and Stars. It's an amber sw uh, swung vase. This is really pretty. Uh, some ambers, Kanawa being one of them, that will actually fluoresce. And they've got a really beautiful orange glow to them. Checking out the clear one here, the little stem. It's kind of like in an Empoli style. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and leave that one behind. Now, Richard caught my attention. He was checking out this lamp. I mean, that is a look for sure. It is obviously a stalking panther with that leopard fur shade. It is $350. Richard was motioning because there's actually two lamps inside of there. You can kind of see the finials up top. Back to the glass. <laughs> We're all over the place today. Didn't really see a whole lot of anything else. This is a more contemporary piece. I do believe that it was molded. It's like a yellow cased glass, but it's very thin. Look, there is another milk glass swung vase. But the swing on that one wasn't very dramatic, so we did leave that one behind. I do see that. Oh, Michael, I missed that hand painted that white with the silver crest, the pink flowers on it. Opalescent here is 35, not where I want it to be. Mm, this one's really pretty. I love that fold down on that one. I believe it is um, Fostoria, if I'm not mistaken. I could be. Let me know down in the comments if you know what that class piece is. So again, some Marigold Carnival. Not my most favorite. Some Blanco there, the, the Mary. Now, Richard did pull down that vase. Notice this one's at 38. The one that we're getting is 32, but you just want to check out the swing on them. You notice how this one, it's uh, its nice. It's not to say that it's not, but look at how exciting, how much more detailed, how many more fingers, especially how delicate they are. $45 on kind of the green luster slide glass cat here. Mm, it's not where I need it to be. Look at that pink nut down there. My goodness, what's going on? Saw some antique books, or what appeared to be antique books. And no, they're more from the 40s and 50s. They're pushing it, though. Soon enough, soon enough. Subject matter wasn't really exciting me, so, huh, alas, I left those ones behind. Sure did. And then something caught my eye. It is the Phoenix glass. Oh, my goodness. I love this navy blue. Um, with that white. Now, $48 does seem steep, but I'm telling you what, these pieces are hard to get. Um, it obviously is a butter dish, but how regal is that? Oh my goodness, yes, I absolutely snatched that one up. I've been hunting for this for a minute. Little Fenton owl lamp here. This was a fortune-telling one, so you could spin the owl's head. Unfortunately, the paper label is missing, and uh, yeah, we're going to snatch this one up. And then Richard brought us over this beautiful blue Blanco. It's almost like a casserole dish. Now, this one is priced at $36. It is highly unusual. It's got like that, the classic um, texturing from Blanco. You can kind of see it there on the rim of the bowl itself. So we are definitely going to get the, both of these pieces. We are now in planter land. <laughs> Love the mauve agate there. Not my most favorite color combination, but I think that you can make it work. Again, nothing like was really overly exciting me. A little bit of Royal Copley. Hey, let's throw in the Keebler Elf too. Why not? And there was the Blanco. That's the spot where Richard got the blue one from. So pretty cool. Up next, we got another score for Richard. He obviously found a lightning rod. It does have the white milk glass ball to it. The thing that excited Richard most was the price, which was only $64.99. But the thing that he most liked was that he had three of the wire pill pillars that were all twisted. Um, Richard is actually currently reconstructing a home or remodeling a home. Um, so this on top of it is going to look beautiful. And what do you know? Another Richard score. We have these beautiful uh, pedestal lamps here. These are priced at only $150 with the marble insert on it. Um, this is a fantastic deal. These ones, depending on the manufacturer, and you'll have to excuse me, I don't know the name of the manufacturer, can go up to several hundred dollars. So huge score. Last item, last point goes to Richard. 
Well, guys, that is it for the Logan Antique Mall here in Logan, Ohio. I think that it was pretty gosh darn good. I was a little, I was getting a little concerned there in the first half of the mall. Not gonna lie. Um, but it, they definitely pulled it off. I think we found some amazing things. Richard definitely scored some treasures. His pedestal hurricane lamp. You got your barrel, mm -hmm. your lightning rod, mm -hmm. your doorknob. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm pleased. And we got True Blood, too, for $32. Complete. Brand new. <laughs> okay. On that note, you guys, as always, in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>